Hi guys, got a request here from Organic Cringe Kid 88 to make a toilet paper roll car with CD wheels that will travel 8 metres on carpet. Well, I did something similar back in 2014. So, either up here or over this side, one side or the other, I'll put a clip from that video just so you can see it and there'll be a link in the video description. But I'll do another one. Not going to be able to demonstrate it on 8 metres of carpet. Nowhere in my house have I got 8 metres of carpet. So it'll have to be on the normal lino floor or whatever the floor is. Um, the difference is on carpet you might get better grip so the wheels might not spin but on the other hand it might slow down quicker so unless we know exactly what sort of carpet he's got and I happen to have it already which doesn't happen we're not going to be able to do that bit well I've got a toilet roll here or toilet roll toilet paper roll um, they come in different sizes this just happens to be one that we have here it's not very strong but the main um, stress will be lengthways while the rubber band is stressed so we should be alright that way I've got some CDs that I've already made into wheels on other projects so there'll be a link in the video description to a little help file video I did on how to make CDs into wheels by gluing bottle tops in the middle and then drill a little hole in the middle and that's your axle. So that will save a bit of time. Uh, we need some drinking straws. Now we need one on the front to hold the front axle and then we need short stubby bits on the back to hold the back axle. Now there's not going to be a lot of strength just here. I'll build it up with hot glue but on the previous version I put extra bits of cardboard on the side to give us a bit more strength. But I'll do this so we're just using the cardboard tube. Rubber bands, um, these are cheap ones from Poundland. They're not actually rubber, they're silicon or something. Um, that looks about the right length. We might use two. First thing we want to do is glue the axle tube in place. Now, I'm planning to tie the rubber band to the front axle tube. That might crush it. So, it just happens these two drinking straws slide inside each other. So I make it a double thickness to make it a bit stronger. Let that cool down a bit. The wheels are going to be quite close together, front to back. They're going to need to overlap. So you'll need to make either the front ones wider or the back ones wider, just so they don't rub against each other. Right, you want to align them so the axle is going to be horizontal in line with each other. You don't want them twisted like that. Right, we'll let that cool down and now I need to cut the middle out so that the rubber band can be attached to the axle. Hopefully that's cooled down enough for me to do some more work. 
we need to cut the middle out. One trick to help you get them through is to use a pencil sharpener to put a point on there. So I'll go and get that. So that's got a bit of a point on it now. Make it a bit easier to find the hole on the way through. Make sure we've got a little bit of a gap. Right, now the other one. Right. That's our basic rubber band powered car. What I'll just do now is I'll glue a little bit of the barbecue skewer T shape onto the back axle so we can hook the rubber band on easily. Right, can we see that? We'll leave that to cool down and then we'll try it out. Right, one rubber band is too short. Two rubber bands are joined together. It's actually going to be too long, but I'll join them together anyway. That is going to be too long, but we'll do it anyway. If we drop that down through, if we're lucky, we can reach it on the other end. <laughs> there we are. So that can just go onto that hook, and we can wind it up. Now, be careful as you wind it up, because if the rubber band goes against the tubes on the end, it'll get caught when it's trying to unwind and the car won't go very well. Sorry about the lighting, that's the sun shining out there. But that just did nine meters before I hit the camera. Right, sun shining again. We are getting a bit of wheel spin. I'll put a link in the video description to my help file on putting rubber tires on CDs so you don't get wheel spin.
Okay. Well, that will have been about 10 meters. It's got eight meters. in the kitchen and conservatory and then we've got another couple of meters past that into my hallway but no idea how that will perform on carpet because it depends entirely on what sort of carpet you've got so check out the video description and feel free to subscribe to my channel and there's also my granddad's other channel so I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers on that one, so I'll be very pleased if you subscribe to that one too. That's the one that has longer videos on it, with more detail when I make bigger projects. Thank you for watching.